Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. I've got three bright and bold birthday projects for you today using Birthday Jubilee. Um, and I've got a little history lesson for you, not lesson, a little story to tell you about the dyes um, and why they inspire me. Hello, I see you guys jumping on. All right, let me open up. Make sure I've got you in the right place and post. So how are you guys? Hi, Denise. Denise is at home doing a big project for me. Denise, are you cursing me yet? And Denise helped me a little bit with today's projects too. She doesn't know it, but she did. Well, maybe she knows it. Um, so how are you guys doing? Today has not been a good day here. Not a good day. Um, this week has been hard. I noticed a lot of people on um, my Facebook friends posting things this week. Like this week seems to be a hard one for everybody. Um, lots of moms having lots of like, I can't do this anymore. Um, hi, Kimberly. Kimberly, I saw your post last night too. It's hard. This is hard what we're doing, you guys. This is so hard. We just found out like about an hour ago that school is officially canceled for the year. And I mean, we are heartbroken. We really felt like we were gonna get to go back to school. Um, down here in Texas, it hasn't seemed so bad. Um, it, here in my town, I live in a suburb outside of San Antonio, we only have had three cases. So I just really felt in my heart that, that things were gonna get back to normal. So today we found out that they're not and my kids all crying, all upset, all heartbroken. I'm heartbroken for them. I'm, um, yeah, I would like for normal life and routine here to get back to normal and I miss my six and a half hours of peace and quiet every day, but I'm heartbroken for my kids, you know? Like, oh. Anyway, that's where we are. All right, I'm not gonna get emotional. Today, you guys, we are doing Birthday Jubilee. Have you guys, looked at this i feel like it's kind of a sleeper set in the catalog um it is really interesting and i'm going to tell you why it stands out to me in a little while okay but let's run through some little announcements and such so tropical oasis are you guys on my mailing list have you joined my email list um i'm gonna turn this fan off real quick um i sent out an email today an email reminder that um my tropical oasis class this one right here the deadline is Sunday, okay? And so that means quick ship. It'll ship by Friday. I have actually ordered almost all the cardstock and stuff that I need to start prepping. I'm gonna work on that this weekend because what else do I have to do? <laughs> and then on Sunday or Monday morning, as soon as I get up, I will order everybody's product. Um, everybody is gonna get, where is it? Do I even have it in here? A whole box of, hold please. <laughs> A whole package of these. Um, you can get a kind of a better idea of them right here. The Tropical Oasis Memory and More Cards. These are designed for memory keeping, but like you can use them for so many other things. So if you haven't tried them, now's a great time. I really love this set. It's very vintage. Let me see if I can find one like this. Look at that little coconut. That's one of those cards. Isn't that adorable? Um, and then I love the little car, the little old car. What's that car called, you guys? It has a name. I have no idea what it's called. The little station wagon with a wood sideboard or the wood uh, paneling. So cute. So anyway, this class actually has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight has eight projects. I don't think I've ever done a class with eight projects before, but I got time, right? Nothing but time. <laughs> so eight projects you'll get in this class kit. You'll get the whole package of these, and there are two of each card. So you, really, if you have cardstock at home, then you could make two sets of each card, because you're gonna have two packs of these, plus lot, I mean, one pack of these with two of each in it. Um, lots of leftovers. Um, it also has two really cool sticker sheets. Can you see the Enjoy? Those are stickers. Really cute. So I'm gonna order all that on Monday. I expedite my orders when I do a class, so it'll all be here um, Wednesday, and then I will finish up the kits and have them out to you on Friday, maybe Thursday. So that means this class would um, get to you pretty quickly in your time of quarantine. It will give you something to do, hopefully. A Woody, is that what they were called? A Woody, those cars? That sounds about right. 
Um, you'll also get some linen thread. Now, the one caveat, as always, is that the dies are on back order, um, but only until the 27th. So the 27th is actually the day this class was supposed to ship. I was thinking it was Friday, but it was Monday. I'll have it ready by Friday. The dies will be back in the um, warehouse on the 27th ish and then because I have expedited my order I will get them within one or two days and then I'll turn it back out to you so it'll be that it'll be within a couple of days of the deadline so no worries um, the dies are super cute that's how you make the little pineapple look the word aloha very cute so there's that class there are several options with you can get it with the bundle you can get it without the bundle. So if you need it, if you don't need it, you can get it either way. Um, you can get it as a PDF only version or my team gets it um, just the make and take kit. So that link um, you have to message me for. It was also in, the link was in the email I sent out this morning. So if you're on my email list, go find that email from Pink Buckaroo and the link to register the class at the bottom. You just click on that and that'll take you to the registration screen. Okay, so this is the last time I will tell you about it. Sunday is the very last day to register. All right, so let me move that out of the way. The other class to go is the Ornate Thanks. This is the Ornate Garden class or suite from the upcoming catalog. Guys, the new Stampin' Up! annual catalog, the PDF, we get to see it. The demonstrators get to see it next week. I'm so excited. Um, but it will it'll go live at the beginning of June. This is one of the suites that's in it. So we've got like advanced, um, I was gonna say an advanced copy. We've got an advanced access to all these products. Here's the thing, the dies are on back order. These dies, the other bundle, the ornate style is an add-on. You can add it onto your class and I'll pay the shipping and tax for you, but they're on low inventory too. So I've already ordered all of the ones for everybody who's registered, um, but if you want those, register in the next couple of days because I don't know how long those will be um, on back order and if it's too long I'll have to turn it off but if you want this class this class has a ton of projects too there are actually three bonus projects in the tutorial the ribbons on low inventory too hopefully when it's on low inventory we don't know like that could mean there's another shipment coming next week or that could mean there's another shipment coming in June we don't know um, but uh, I've ordered ribbon for everybody who's registered already so if you want to make sure you can get your kit quickly register ASAP. That link, um, you can message me for that link and it was also in last week's or earlier this week's email that I sent out about the clearance rack, if you saw that. Speaking of the clearance rack, did you guys see it? It's really good. <coughs> I haven't checked it since Tuesday, but I know there's gotta be quite a bit left. Um, anyway, this class deadline is not till the end of the month, so you have a couple of weeks to decide. Um, you can go watch my video on it to see all the projects. Really cute stuff. I've got really good feedback about this class, um, which always surprises me. You know, when you make your own projects, I don't know if you guys feel like this, I always feel like, meh, <laughs> every time. Um, but then I've got really good feedback, so thank you. Look how cute the paper is. So cute, right? So cute. Mary Inglebright. It's very Mary Inglebrightish. Do you guys remember Mary Inglebright? Is she around anymore? I mean, I know her designs are around. I used to get a Mary Inglebright calendar every year. I don't know. Are they? I don't even know. Are they still doing Mary Inglebright? Is she still a thing? I don't know. Oh, it's getting ready to rain outside. Yay! So today, while I was. Um, recording these videos i do clean recordings of these videos so that you guys will have them later um it was early in the morning i had just gotten back from my walk it was like 8 a.m nobody is awake the house is quiet that's when i i have to get in here and get it done so i get started and right across the street you know i live in a cul-de-sac right across the street all these moving trucks pull up there's like five vehicles out in the cul-de-sac and i was like oh my gosh here we go and luckily the dogs didn't start barking um i don't know why <laughs> But I got through the videos without chaos. So behind you guys, it's like moving town out there. Our neighbors are moving. They have a huge house, tons of furniture. Oh, hi, Mom. You say Mary Inglebride is still around? She's cute. She's so cute. All right. So today, if you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, 
here's the PDF. You can click on, just go over to pinkbuckaroo.com. Today when I'm done, I will put the direct link up in the description as soon as I'm done. Oh, Joy says Mary Inglebright is alive and 67 years old. She's got lots of time left. Awesome, thanks Joy. I just don't see her stuff anymore. Maybe because I'm not looking for it. Her stuff's cute. Thank you, Joy, that was good info. Pinkbuckaroo.com, today's projects um, are all loaded. It should have gone live. That post should have gone live as soon as I went live. And um, hi, Belinda, my teacher friend. Hope you're hanging in there. Belinda is a kindergarten teacher. We taught kindergarten together. And she told me she is spending so much time on the computer now that we're doing distance learning. And I was just talking to my friend Ange in Canada, and she said same thing. Tons of time on the computer now for distance learning. It's been very hard for my youngest, and it's obviously been very hard for the kids. I mean, for the teachers. This is crazy, just crazy what is happening. I keep interrupting myself because I'm looking on, I'm looking at comments. Okay, I'm gonna ignore you guys for a few minutes so I can say what I gotta say. Um, PDF, over on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Scroll down under the last photo. You'll see a link, big link, click on it. It should be today's PDF. It has all the products that I use as well as any measurements, and then, the other info, um, the Tropical Oasis class, the um, Ornate Garden class, and then this month's All Store Tutorial Bundle, okay? Belinda s says, I'm so sad we're not going back. We just found out, you guys, if you weren't here at the very beginning, we found out today that there's no more school for the year. And I mean, I really, maybe I was just being naive. I really thought the kids were gonna go back. I really did, and no. So yeah, heartbroken, heartbroken. Weird times, weird, weird times. Okay, so Facebook Friday, I always pick a product, a product, yeah, and design three projects around it. And this week is birthday jubilee. Um, if you like today's make and takes and you would like for me to send them to you for free, I will be happy to do that. Um, all you have to do is put in an order um, at stampinup.com and use this week's host code. You'll see it when I flip the camera around. You'll also see it on the PDF and over on my blog. And then I will mail you a kit that looks similar to this. All right, you'll have all three projects. See, scoring is done for you. Any punching or anything that needs to be done um, that's not the bundle. You'll need to make your projects. You'll need your ink. You'll need the stamps, the birthday jubilee stamps and die. So I don't do any stamping um, and I don't do any die cuts that are the dies that I'm featuring. Um, but everything else is done for you. You get a little thank you tag in there. Look, I've been I've been collecting them over the last few weeks. I have an extra in case somebody gets, lo gets lost in the mail, which is happening a ton. You guys, I've had so much trouble with the mail the last few weeks. <sighs> um, here's one. Here's one, see, I make a little cute tag. Guys, you don't need to call Stampin' Up! and report me. I'm not sending pre-stamped images. Calm down, it's a thank you tag. It's a completed project, has nothing to do with the projects that are in there, okay? So, you get three make and takes um, from me, free, they're free. Minimum order, $35 by Monday at midnight, okay? Um, Vicki, I hope I do make you want this bundle. I love it, and I haven't really seen much of it online. Um, my friend Cindy Schuster, she's a design, um, a concept artist at Stampin' Up. We were artisan design team members together many years ago, and she ended up getting a job at Stampin' Up and moving all the way to Salt Lake City, and she designs cards for Stampin' Up's catalog now. But she posted cards um, way back, I think it was like in January, using this bundle, and her stuff's gorgeous. So one of my cards today is based on Cindy's beautiful work. How about some prizes? Some prizes. Kathy Good, I'm glad you like the tags. Those tags that I throw in there um, are a lot of work, but I hear so much that you guys love them. And so it's just a little thank you gift for you from me. And um, I just want you guys to know that I appreciate you and I appreciate your orders and I appreciate your business. I am a small business. Um, and luckily my business is already online. So not much has changed for me but lots has changed for you. So if things change for you, then they will change for me. So I do appreciate you guys. And hopefully I can provide a little bit of a escape for you guys um, during this crazy, ridiculous time, right? Um, 
Okay, prizes, two prizes. All you have to do to be entered to win a prize is to share the video um, on Facebook, okay? So what I do is I go back to last week's video and I pull it up and I see who, who's shared and I just pick random winners, all right? So share it over on Facebook and so that I can see it. And if you share it privately or if you share it um, to like maybe a group that's private, I won't see that share. So make sure you say shared. Okay, um, in the comments. The puppy is upstairs. They are all banished to the upstairs until three o'clock. Um, last week's winners, Susie Hinton, Susie, Suzanne, right? I believe I have your mailing address if it's the same, Suzanne, um, and Marianne Robbins. Marianne, I feel like I might have yours too, but message me just in case so I don't have to go searching for it, all right? Congratulations, ladies, you both won back on your feet which is a good stamp set for right now. This week I'm giving away two Pedal to the Metal stamp sets. These are two, this is a dude stamp set. And guess what? It's gonna be Facebook Friday next week. I've already got the projects designed and I love them. Um, they're very, I love when I get to do masculine things because I don't do masculine things very often. Um, so this is gonna be next week's Facebook Friday. So the winners who share Today's video I'll announce next week before we make those projects. Okay, I think we're ready. All right, hello to everybody who said hello. I'm gonna cover you guys up for just a second. I'm glad you've joined me. Let's see if I can flip you without turning it off, showing you things you don't wanna see like my nose or the neighbors. All right, here we go. Let's get us straightened out. Yeah, today's just weird and it's like gloomy and yucky outside and I just, sometimes I, you know, this is our fifth week of being quarantined, really. We, you know, five weeks and this week has been just, I don't know, ugh, five weeks is too many. All right, so here are the projects today, you guys. We're going to make a punch art cactus. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the cactus when I get to that project. I'm going to make a gift card holder. Oh, let me open this, my iPad over here so that I can make sure I see your comments. Because once I turn the camera, I can't really see your comments. Um, and then a card. This is the card that Cindy made and we're going to case it. All right. So these things right here, do you see this picture? Can you guys see this? These little flags or banners are called Papel Picado. Denise, did I say it right? Papel Picado. They are a, I looked it up, a Mexican folk art, and they're usually cut from like tissue paper, and they're very intricate and beautiful. And this is um, Market Square, downtown San Antonio, one of our beautiful spots. My team, I took them to dinner here when last April when we had um, Stampin' Up! event here. So these, as soon as I saw these dies, can you see how they are very similar? I got very excited because this to me is very San Antonio-ish. So um, that's why I was excited to use it. And that's why I chose the bold, bright colors. You can, <laughs> Denise, thank you. Papel Picado. I looked it up and I listened to the translation. I asked Denise what they were called. I just call them those tissue paper um, banners and I didn't know what they were called. Um, Denise knows everything. She's She knows everything about San Antonio you could ever want to know. She's like our tour guide last, last April. I've lived here for 35 years and I, I don't know near as much as she does. Um, so anyways, you can see bold and bright. Right now is supposed to be Fiesta. San Antonio has a yearly event called Fiesta. It's 10 days long and it's a huge party for 10 days downtown. All kinds of um, events and it's canceled. So I'm feeling sad. I know a lot of people are feeling sad right now. Um, and just looking at the picture takes me back to good good times that hopefully we'll, we will have again, right? All right, so papel picado, that's what these are called. And we're gonna use them not to make banners, but to make some little cards, all right? All right, let's get started. We're gonna start with this one right here. Um, this one is, let's see, let me get my tray. This one is, um, like I said, a case from Cindy Schuster. Let me move this up because it's going to annoy me. Um, Cindy's a concept artist um, at Stampin' Up! And hers, she did with kind of light colors, uh, subtle colors. And of course, I was like, oh, well, let's make it bright and bold. So this was also my um, birthday card for my team um, in February. So I made a bunch of them and they were pretty easy to make. 
So all you have to, the only thing that really might take some time is cutting out the little thingies. Papel picado, those. All right, we're gonna use blends. Oh my gosh, everything's jumping around. We're gonna use blends, we're gonna use all kinds of things. So let's do the stamping first because when we bring the big shot over here, we're gonna wanna cut out several things at once, all right? Um, I feel off my game. I'm off my game. I'm going in a different order than I filmed the videos. I'm such a creature of like habit, routine, schedule. So if I do things differently than how I did it previously, I get thrown off. You guys know um, I'm stamping this little flower arrangement in memento black because I'm going to color it with the blends. You guys, <laughs> and this is really weird. Um, when I um, do these every Friday, I always have to do them in the order in which I made them. <laughs> <laughs> so weird, right? So if like this was the first one I made, so this is the first one we're going to do. I don't know why I'm like that. I just like scheduling routines. I guess that's a routine, isn't it? Um, okay, so my color scheme for these projects were Melon Mambo, um, Granny Apple Green, and Pineapple Punch, which is a retiring color. Week after next, we're going to do stuff with a retiring in color, so stay tuned for that. Um, however, we don't have Melon Mambo Stampin' Blends, so the next closest thing is um, Lovely Lipstick, which is also a retiring in color. Um, I'm going to take light Lovely Lipstick, and I'm going to color this in all the way. I'm not going to worry about any shading on this because there's really no shading to do, but we are going to use the darker just for some, some accents. Now I was gonna tell you, oh, I know what I was gonna say. So um, we don't have Melon Mambo Stampin' Blends, right? Because we have Lovely Lipstick, it's very, very close. Um, I think Stampin' Up! chooses Stampin' Blend colors based on, well, you know, like what the light and dark look like because the light and dark of each color are different. So they say, you know, they would look at this and say, okay, we don't need to produce a melon mambo because this is close enough um however this marker is going to retire um at the end of may when the catalog retires because it is one of the end colors that retires this year so i'm hoping that they are going to bring in a melon mambo salmon blend because what would we do what hot pink would we use i'm sure they will stamp and blends have proven to be very popular very, very popular. Now, speaking of in colors, I hope you guys saw my post yesterday about the paper pumpkin kit for May. This is light granny apple. Now I'm gonna take dark and I'm not gonna do any shading. I'm just gonna go over that line with the dark. The May paper pumpkin kit is going to be four of the new in colors and purple posy. And you have to subscribe to that kit by, what is it, the 10th of May, okay? And then it'll ship out, start shipping, the, or they start shipping and charging credit cards and stuff on the 11th. So you that'll be your first sneak peek of the new in colors. Everything will be those four, four of the five in colors plus purple posy. And right now, the, the image for that, Paper Pumpkin is all white, and they're going to show us the colored image on, oh, correct me if I'm wrong, the 24th? Yeah, the 24th. So then we'll get to see the new in colors. So demonstrators will see the new catalog on the 22nd, right? That's Wednesday, right? Yes. Yeah. Who knows what day it is? Are you guys like that? I have no idea what day it is. It's just another day. <laughs> Groundhog Day. Um, so anyway, we'll get to see it Wednesday. Um, that's a perk of being a demonstrator. And then um, we'll get to pre-order it at the beginning of um, May. So we'll be watching for the new In Color Club that I'm going to have and the Product Shares Club. As soon as I see all that, I'll be able to get organized and get you guys starting to organize you for those clubs, okay? Okay, now we're gonna cut out, there are two of these um, dies. This one has like an open circle right here. And then this one 
is solid, more like those little pennant flags. We're gonna use this one right now. And I have taken a Dollar Tree um, dryer sheet. You guys have seen me do this before. Dollar Tree dryer sheet. I just find that it makes uh, intricate dies cut so much better for me. You don't have to have it, but I find it just makes things easier. So dryer sheet, melon mambo paper, and my die. And then I'm gonna run it through like three or four times because all of those little windows, every single one is a cutting edge. And to make sure that all of those little cutting edges cut, we need to go through a couple of times, okay? So look, once I take that off, you can see it sticks to the dryer sheet. And if you peel it like this, most of them will stick to the dryer sheet. Pretty cool, right? All right, that is all the die cutting we need for this one. So let's move that out of the way. Now, I didn't, let's see, here's this. I, if you're, all your little doodads don't come out, you can get this um, attachment for your take your pick tool. I have both of them listed on the supply sheet, okay? If you haven't gotten the take your pick tool, it's uh, 10, I believe, and then this um, this little thing just screws on. It's a, one of the attachments, and it comes with two of these, and it's $9. So it's a good tool to have. I just keep it right here in my adhesive basket. All right, so there we have it. Now let's stamp our sentiment. You know, I am totally going backwards today, so my stuff is still over on the other trays. And we're gonna stamp the sentiment. I love this sentiment. I love the way it's drawn, and I love what it says. Celebrating you is the best. Celebrating you, I mean, that could be birthday, right? That could be congratulations. That could be um, graduation, right? Lots of things. So celebrating you is the best. All right, we're ready to put our card together. This is a regular card base, just half of a eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. I've cut it in half, five and a half, and scored it at four and a fourth. Then I cut off one inch from this side, okay? Then I took a piece of basic black, an inch and a half by six. It's longer than my card because if you put a five and a half inch piece of cardstock in your corrugated, um, embossing folder, it's gonna be too short because it shrinks up a little bit. See how it's, you know, it goes up and down, up and down, and it makes your paper a little bit shorter. So start out with a longer paper to begin with. And, and, oh, come on. And then you'll be fine. All right, so I'm gonna lay it here in the corner of the inside. I did some of this ahead of time. That's why it's already embossed. And I'm gonna match edge for edge there. And I'm gonna close that. Let's see, that one feels like it's a little bit off. Let's make it straight. There we go. You guys see my nails are still on. This is week four. <laughs> I know, I need to take them off, but they're on. Like, they're not coming off. I don't wanna take them off. See, I'm just gonna cut that straight. See, they're still good, except for, ah! I'm being stubborn now. I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna leave them on. All right, so there's our card front. Now, we're gonna stick this flower, this flower spray, this flower swag, this flower swag. We're gonna put dimensionals on it, and you're gonna line it up right here with this flower like that. All right, now because we've put those dimensionals on there, we can match them on the back, and we don't have to worry about adhesive showing through, because we'll just put it behind where those flowers are. It makes it really easy. And we're gonna just lay this down right there. All right, and then I don't think I mentioned this, I punched it out with a two inch circle punch. It's the perfect fit. Um, yeah, you guys, I'm, I'm trying to sneak peek over there and see what you're saying. These dies are, I, I think it's a sleeper. You know, there's a sleeper set in the, in the catalog every time. One or two sleeper sets that people just don't really notice. And I feel like this is one of them because it's beautiful. And I haven't seen very much of it online. It's weird. All right, probably because there's so many good things in that catalog, so many. All right, so a little glue dot, a little Baker's twine bow, and done. 
so cute. That would make a great graduation card, wouldn't it? You could use the colors of their school. You could do um, a wedding shot, a bridal shower. Gosh, this card could really, could really be used for a lot of things. That, that sentiment goes a long way. And I like that it's big and I love the font. All right, guys, what do you think? I originally made this card. I wonder if I still have one over here in my birthday card basket. Yeah, I originally made it with the Honey Bee Designer Series paper, remember? So if you have some of that, you could also use that there. But I didn't want to use it today because we can't get it anymore. All right, good. I hope you guys like that. Let me clean up just a bit. And we'll do our next project. My shirt keeps getting stuck on the edge of the table. I need to move that a little bit there. Okay, so while I'm cleaning up, um, you guys are asking about the puppy. She's doing very good. I took her to the vet. We've had her for a month. Took her to her 12-week mm, appointment. And she's doubled her weight. She's getting so big. And yesterday we tried to give her a haircut. We have now three schnauzers and schnauzers need grooming about every six weeks. And her hair has grown super fast. So I borrowed some clippers and it was not successful. <laughs> not successful at all. She was terrified. We did get my um, Charlie, we got Charlie's haircut a little bit, but he didn't really need it. Um, but, uh, yeah, not successful. And then I was like traumatized because she was upset. And, oh, oh well, she'll just be a shaggy dog for a while. Okay. So this card is kind of funny. I hope you guys like it. I, I wanted to make a cactus. So I made a punch art cactus. Does it look like a cactus? I hope it does. <laughs> this is a prickly pear cactus. And we have lots of prickly pear cactus here in South Texas. Um, they grow in like these bunches of circles and ovals. And they're called, these are called the paddles. Each one that grows is a paddle. And right now they're starting to bloom. I walk by every morning when I walk, um, I walk by a huge one in our neighborhood. And it is gorgeous. Tomorrow, or I probably won't walk till Monday. Monday when I walk, I'm going to post a picture of that cactus so you guys can see it. It's so pretty. And so I was like, how can I make a cactus? And so I'm gonna show you how I made a cactus. Hopefully you guys like it and it doesn't look too silly. When I make punch art, I always think, oh, does that even look like what I'm wanting it to look like? I don't know. All right, so I'm just gonna take a um, quarter piece of cardstock. It doesn't matter what size. You're gonna punch one, two, three, four, five circles. Yeah, five circles out of it. So however big you need to get five circles. Um, this is Granny Apple Green, and I'm just going to score it every quarter inch, okay? And on your Simply Scored, it's really easy just to go all the way down. I love my Simply Scored. I know that you can score on your trimmer, which is great, but if you really do a lot of scoring, if you make a lot of 3D projects, the Simply Scored is the way to go. It really is awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna take several punches. We're gonna start with a two inch punch down here at the bottom, and we're gonna leave a little bit of room there to make it flat, okay? Now, if you guys know, Stampin' Up! retired a bunch of their circle um, punches last year um, because we have the nesting circle dies, and I used one of the retired ones. It's one and a fourth. Um, you, if you don't have the one and a fourth, you can use your um, circle dies, and you could you could also use one and a half also, okay? So I'm gonna do, uh, let me look at my sample, two, two, no, just one. One of the one and a fourth, and then I'm gonna do two one inch circles, and last but not least, the little one, the half inch. All right. Now I'm gonna get, it's here somewhere, there it is. I'm gonna get a Stampin' Sponge and Granny Apple Green ink, and I'm just gonna ink these edges. Thank you, you guys, you're so sweet. I, uh, <laughs> when I made this little cactus, it sat on my desk for a while, and I was trying to decide. Does it look like a cactus, Erica? And then I decided it did. 
Michelle Suit is an, is like the queen of punch art. She's awesome. I almost messaged her to see if she had done a cactus. She's the one that does all the Disney punch art. Um, she's really good. But I was pretty proud of myself. I wanted to do maybe some ovals, but I wanted to stick to punches too. So that's why we went with circles. All right, now the little spines, the little pokey needle things. We've got to add that. So I'm going to use... Um, my chalk marker and I'm just gonna go down each little score mark and just add some of these and they kind of fade which is good because they kind of just blend in not you can see them but uh, they're not like you know too bright or too bold so I'm just gonna go through and I'm not gonna do a lot because this project is a kind of takes a long time well, the video for this is like almost 15 minutes which is a long video for me I try to keep them around 10 all right so when today's blog today's blog post is already up right hopefully somebody's gone over there the clean recordings of these projects are already loaded and ready and they are scheduled to go live at three o'clock I didn't want you to see them before Facebook Friday. So if you come back and you wanna make these projects um, and you don't wanna to have to go all the way through all my jabber jaw during Facebook Live, <laughs> you just wanna to get to the project, go over to my YouTube channel and you'll find them there. They'll also be on today's blog post. They'll be linked under each photo. All right, so I'm gonna start over here with the, the one and a fourth, then I'm gonna Come over here with the one inch, and then I'm gonna come over here. The smallest punch is a half inch, so I've used two inch, one and a fourth, one inch, and half an inch, okay? But you know, it doesn't have to be, use what you have circle-wise. I think you could make this work with any size. Oh, nope, gotta have those little spines going that way. And, oh, all right, hold on. Looks like Mickey, right? Looks like a Mickey cactus. All right, what's happening here? Did I not put enough glue? Fresh bottle of Tombow, nice and clean. All right, so there's our cactus. It's like a cartoon cactus. <laughs> I'm gonna set that there to dry. And let's do some of the other parts. Now the flowers, prickly pears have these beautiful flowers in the spring. We're gonna use the flower stamp from this set. Um, we're gonna stamp it in pineapple punch. Um, let me make sure that I cleaned it. Okay, pineapple punch, ink on pineapple punch, card stock. Um, it does have a leaf on it. So we're gonna use the dye to cut it out and then we'll just snip off the leaves because the flowers on the um, cactus do not have leaves. They're just um, fruit, they're actually fruit. Okay, I colored it in with um, pineapple punch dark. All right, now I'm gonna bring over the die cut machine. Let's see what all I need to cut out. I'm gonna cut out the two flowers, so we got that. And then I'm gonna cut out now the straight papel picado. Do you guys like my Spanish? I don't speak Spanish. You'd think after all these years living here, I would speak Spanish, but I mean, I know some bad words in Spanish. <laughs> you know, those are the things you learn in school from your friends. My husband's really trying to learn Spanish. He works, um, he works for a company that sells lumber to home builders. And he works with a lot of um, framers out on construction sites and he wants to be able to communicate better with the Spanish speaking um, guys out on the, you know, out on the job sites. So he's been learning and he actually knows quite a bit. Um, and I got him that Rosetta Stone. He, he, that's what he wanted for Christmas. I got him that, I think it was last year and he's barely used it. I'm like, that was expensive, buddy. You better be fluent. <laughs> you better, and he, he spends a lot of time in his car driving around, and I'm like, you better just be listening to your Rosetta Stone and learning Spanish. Hey guys, no worries about coming in late. I get it, glad you're here. Um, 
it's weird, right? We don't even know what time it is, what day it is. Everything's weird. Everything's off. It's all right. It's okay. We finished puzzle number six last night. We are now puzzle people, apparently. I've never liked puzzles in my life. It's funny, though, how relaxing a puzzle is. It kind of numbs everything, right? Your brain just kind of... All you're thinking about is finding those pieces. Oh, I didn't cut that one out very well. You guys, when, if you're using a magnetic plate and your die wants to jump around, like, like, let's see if I can, of course, now that it's doing it, you probably can't even see, can you? So over here, see how if I put it there, it's gonna move. Well, just move your paper to wherever that magnet wants to be because there's no fighting a magnet. Um, dryer sheet, sorry, I didn't mention that in this project. I used it in the last project. It's a Dollar Tree dryer sheet. Um, dryer sheets from the Dollar Tree. And you get 55 for a dollar. And I put it underneath the cardstock and it helps grab all those little pieces. Right, awesome. Um, there's always a few left, but for the most part, and the thing that I like is that they're stuck there and they're not all over my shirt and all over the floor. I mean, there are a few, <laughs> could never be totally clean, but not as bad as um, if you had all of them. And also, I just feel like it cuts better. It gives, it, it makes it a thicker, a tighter uh, sandwich, which gives those little, tiny little cutting surfaces because, you know, if you look at your die, every one of these is a cutting surface, right? And we're expecting it to just bam, cut. But um, you have to really kind of work it and get it to, you know, roll through a lot of times, get a lot of pressure on there to, to do what it needs to do. So the dryer sheet helps. Okay, so notice here, I wanted this, I'm putting two of these little things together and I wanted it to be solid behind there. So I measured what size piece of cardstock needs to fit. It needs to be wide enough so that it is inside the scallop. But look, outside of these circles is very hard. Um, and then up here, I didn't want it to go too, I wanted those to be open because those are scallops and if you go any higher, then you're gonna see it. So this piece, and it's over on the PDF, it measures three and seven eighths this way. Let me, let me look and make sure I'm telling you the right thing. Yeah, three and seven eighths, and then three and nine sixteenths. I usually don't do sixteenths, but this is nine sixteenths. It's the one tiny tick mark after the half mark. If you count the little tick marks on a ruler, you have 16 there, um, and it's the ninth one, okay? So that will get the this, hopefully, to fit perfectly, okay? All right, so I'm gonna um, put some Tombow all around. If you happen to have adhesive sheets, we don't carry them anymore, but if you still have some, um, you could use that on this. I have found though that if I use adhesive sheets with a die that's really intricate and has all those little doodads, um, I have a hard time with the doodads sticking, you know, like they don't wanna come out and it doesn't cut through the sheets or whatever. But anyway, you can try it and see. Um, okay. Let me make sure I have this. Yeah, right? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go right to the edge. And the thing about using Tombow though is that you can slide it around. There we go, perfect. You can slide it around and get it to fit where you need it to fit. All right, so let's put a punch on that. And then we're gonna do this one too. Okay, sorry, I'm totally not seeing what you guys are saying. Iowa school had been closed for remainder of school year. Same here, Deb. Texas schools today, just about an hour ago, we found out. My little one is so upset. This is her fifth grade year, last year of elementary. I've just, I feel like we've been cheated. I walk, I have, since my, my second child was in kindergarten, no, first grade, I have walked my kids to school every day. We walk to school, it's about a 12 minute walk from here. And it has just been a really sweet, special time to spend with them. And this is the last year and, uh, I don't get to do that. I don't get to finish. And maybe it seems minor. I don't know. It just, 
And I was talking to Angela McKay earlier today, too, and she said, you know, what we're feeling is grief. We're grieving the things that we're missing, the things that have been taken away. And that's exactly what I feel like. And I know it's not the same as if somebody actually died, because that's awful. And I'm, you know, of course, I get it. I understand all that. But, oh, man, it is tough. All right, remember, we're cutting these leaves off. And she, I wasn't going to tell her until I don't know I'm just gonna wait and she had a zoom call at one o'clock with her teachers in her class and I guess they talked about it and she was so upset <sighs> it's not fair all right now here's one of the um I'm gonna use the fatter one this is one of the things that comes with your take your pick tool the stylus and if you go around like this in the center of your flower my friend taught me this many years ago. Look, see, and yes, I have ink everywhere. See how it makes it kind of like cupped? It creates dimension. My friend Alicia, she used to make all these gorgeous 3D flowers, and this is one of the things that she taught me. Very cool. All right, now let's put our little flowers on our cute little cactus. One of my cards is missing a flower because today when I was making the video, it dropped on the floor and I could not find it. <laughs> so that one just has one flower. All right, there we go. Um, Carla, your daughter had to pick up her graduation announcements and cap and gown today. So does that, what does that mean? Does that mean she's going to have a graduation or you don't know, or she had to pick them up because she's not going to use them? Oh, that's the worst. That is the worst. I feel terrible for all the graduating seniors. Ellie, my oldest daughter, is a junior. She's 17, but her best friend is a senior. And they went for a long walk yesterday. She lives across the street. Yes, I know, we're not totally social distancing, but she, I can't. My kids would go crazy. Um, and um, she's devastated. She's devastated about her senior year. And she's supposed to go to Abilene Christian in the fall. And she doesn't even know if that's going to happen. I can't imagine at that age <sighs> dealing with that. All right. Happy birthday. Long, really cool, long sentiment that I just stamped totally crooked. All right. Let's do it again. Um, I feel like it's on here crooked. Hold on. Um, it's on one of these stitched rectangles and this stitched rectangle is not let's see this stitch rectangle is not part of the stitched rectangle dies this is one of those new um, dies in the ornate layers dies that you know the ornate garden stuff that I showed you at the beginning that is available for order by the way you guys and I don't think I mentioned that you that that sneak peek stuff from the new catalog the ornate garden suite you can order that stuff um, if you've been wanting those dies the ornate these the ornate layers are really cool they're on low inventory so go run go get them <laughs> sorry I'm being an enabler okay now there we go we got that <clears throat> Um, Virgil graduation, Denise. Oh, virtual graduation. I can't imagine. Graduation's a big deal. A big deal. Thanks. I don't know. This is just. I don't know. I need to stop talking about it because it makes me upset. All right. Pineapple punch. Um. <laughs> grow grain bow um, and then we're going to put all of this on a black card base now inside of a black card base you've got to put a piece of whisper white card stock four by five and a fourth because you can't write on the inside of a black card unless you have a white marker pen but i think it's kind of hard to do that and then we're just going to put this right on the top um of the black card Stay at home is through June tenth. Schools are closed for the year. Really, mm, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm. Walking across the graduation stage one at a time. Oh, let me see what you're saying, Tammy. And getting their picture taken. Hold. It. Oh, good. Parents stay in the car. Oh, well, I guess that's better than nothing. That's oh, it breaks my heart. But you know what? I like that they're doing something right other than rather than canceling 
completely. She, I don't know if you guys saw Tammy's comment there. The seniors are walking across the graduation stage one at a time, only six each half hour, and getting their picture taken, holding their diploma. Parents stay in the car. Professional photographer takes pictures from a distance. You know what? That's a great compromise. It is. It stinks, but it's better than nothing. All right, you guys, what do you think about the punch art cactus? Is it silly? I love it. Here in South Texas, we got lots of cactus, and I just thought it went really well with this papel picado. I always feel like I need to like say it with a flourish because I don't speak Spanish. Anyways, I hope you guys like it. I think it's a fun card, really fun. All right, we have one more. What time is it? Oh, 10 minutes. Okay, um, one more, one more, one more. Let me just kind of clean up a tiny bit. I'm using a lot of the same supplies today, so I'm having to leave a lot of it out. This one that we're making is um, a gift card holder. And the gift card the gift card that I have is from our local grocery store, H-E-B, and it goes so perfectly well with it. The colors are good. So it holds a gift card in there and in the back, well, I wanted to stick out a little bit like that. In the back, you have this little note card that you can write on. And I'm gonna use this little die, the little intricate die, to cut that, that little matching pattern, if you will, that kind of matches that across the top. All right, so let me move all of this and get this over here, and then we will make it. It's an easy one, and I want you guys to think about this being, you know, I mean, you could use any colors, really, you could. This is this uh, gift card design is one you could whip out if you like were in a hurry and you're going somewhere and you need a gift card holder. All right, so this is, let me look at my notes so I tell you the right thing. This is right here on the PDF, three and three fourths by 11, pineapple punch. Um, and it, we're gonna score the long side at three and a half, six and a half and nine and a half, okay? And then we're gonna fold, here's the first section that we had, okay? That's gonna be the back. You're gonna fold up, and then forward, and then up. I don't know, did that make sense? Up, down, up, up, down, up. Basically, forwards and backwards, okay? So there you have it. Look, can you see how it looks on the side? This is for the note card, and this is for the gift card. Now. Because I knew we would be running short on time, I have already cut out one of these, and I'm going to adhere it right here. And you can see how, I'm gonna push it all the way down to the bottom so that I have a little bit of room right there to put that circle, okay? So let's go ahead and do that because it needs to sit there and dry. A little bit of Tombow. You guys are saying lots of things, and I'm not reading all of them because we'll be here all day, but I will come back and read. I know we all have a lot to say right now, don't we? If you like um, Bible studies or podcasts, I have been listening to one called My Big, oh, now I can't remember it, My Big Life Podcast. Is that what it's called? She's so good. It's like a 12-minute devotional every day, and it's just, it's funny, and it's totally relatable. I feel like every day when I listen to it, it's she's like talking to me you know so if you guys are looking for something to listen to look it up my big life um my big life podcast my big life i'm gonna have to double check and i'll post that make sure i tell you the right thing all right so we've got that um now what am i doing okay now look what we're gonna do here we're not gonna stamp it in solid black right we're gonna stamp it we're gonna use stamp and write markers and stamp and write markers, I need to get my chamois. Stamp and write markers are different than stamp and blends because they're water-based. They are the same ink that's in your ink pad, pretty much, okay? Um, so you can't, you can, I'm, what am I trying to say? You couldn't watercolor this ink, like it would, it would smear. Um, it's not a um, alcohol-based marker, but you can use it to color right on your stamps. And this is one of the first things I learned to do 10 years ago when I, was, when I started doing stamping up. Um, 
Deborah Harrison, who is now my downline. She was um, one of my students' parents when I taught school. And she came, stopped by my classroom one day after school and showed me how to do this and how to use a blender pen. I always remember that. But this, because I remember when I bought my first stamps, I was like, how do you, how do you make it a colored image how, if you want different colors? And she showed me. So I'm coloring in the big word with basic black marker. And then this one with the melon mambo marker. I don't know why I pulled out the pineapple punch marker because we're not using it. And one thing you can do, um, markers sometimes don't give you that super solid image, but if you have it on your, oh, this was the wrong paper. Well, we'll cut another piece in a minute. <laughs> This is the piece that goes in the back. Um, okay, whatever. Um, if you have this on your stamp apparatus, you can do it and then ink it up again and stamp it again and get it really solid. I think that's maybe what I did there. Okay, so we're gonna need another piece of paper, but that's okay. We're gonna punch it out. <clears throat> again, the two inch circle punch. And then let's grab the scrap piece. I knew I was gonna do that. That's why I cut these a different size. But then I still did it. All right. Here we go again. We're gonna do the same exact thing. I should have done this ahead of time with this little swag. We'll color it real fast. Um, stamp and write markers, you could also color in your images if you wanted, but it's not gonna give you that nice, smooth, blended look. Um, it's gonna be more like, you know, when you color with Crayola markers and you got streaks and, you know. Um, the alcohol markers blend and are better for actually coloring images. Stamp and write markers are good to write with or to color your um, your stamps like I did. And they come in color families. We used to be able to order them singles, but now they don't offer them that way. Um, you have to order them in the family packs, which is good because then you just have them. All right, do, 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 doing the exact same thing I did a minute ago. I really should have done this ahead of time. <laughs> Granny Apple. And Pineapple Punch. Now, oh, Nathan says, I love Deborah. Nathan now, he is, Deborah is his upline. And so he's my second level downline. Hello, Nathan. All right, there we go. We got that done. That's quick and messy, but that's all right. Now, you know what? Before I do that, let me cut another piece of white. And that piece of white needed to be, I have it on my notes, three and a half by three and a half. And I actually think it needs to be a slightly, just a little bit smaller than that. Three and a half. Let's say three and three eighths. Three and three eighths. Oh, it's perfect size. Okay. Now, bring over the dye machine. And I don't know if my mom is still watching, but she was going to go over and we got a um, grocery pickup order for today. And she was going to go pick it up. And she, I put it under my, <laughs> my um, account. So it needs to be my phone when she gets there. So hopefully she's not there until I'm done. I told her, you can have to wait till I'm done with Facebook Friday. I hope you guys totally know what I'm saying. You know, like if you order something and then you pull in the spot and it says text us when you're here and you have to text them from the number that's your account. So nice grocery pickup. I've been using grocery pickup for years, but now because of everything that's happening, I can never get a grocery pickup time. All right, so there's that die. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I didn't use the um, dryer sheet this time, and so now I got doodads everywhere. All right, now, here in Texas we have HEB, that's our big grocery store, and they were ahead of their time. They are masters at grocery pickup and delivery. So when this all came down, they were like, we have been training for this. They knew exactly what to do. All right, so on this little inside sheet, we're gonna stamp, let's do one flower. Let's not do two this time. And then, where did it go? Do you guys see the other stamp? 
Here it is. And you deserve the best of everything. It's a nice thing to say. And we'll color that in. And that gives you just a little bit of room to write your note. This would be great for teacher appreciation. You have to mail it to your, your child's teacher this year. But they deserve it. They do. All right, then we are ready to put it all together. Um, oh, <laughs> Nadine asked me what was on my Stampin' Trimmer that was yellow. Um, I put washi tape underneath, and it's actually for something we're going to do next week. Look, I put washi tape underneath so I could see these, these lines better, the measurement lines. It's actually for a project that we're going to do next week. It's funny that you noticed that. Okay, now let's put it together. Now, we have the little circle and I'm going to use just a little bit of Tombow down here on the bottom. Okay. And then slide that there. Okay. Dimensionals on the back of this. It's funny that I thought I wouldn't even do three or three hours. I wouldn't even do the whole hour today. I thought these projects will go fast, but they didn't. All right. Now, the little card goes here in the back. Your gift card will go there, and to keep it held together, just take your ribbon. You don't even need to adhere those sides. Just take your ribbon and tie your sides together like that. All right, now let's slide that under those flowers. Well, I better cut it off first. Doop. Do. And then, there we go. And there you have it. See how that goes in and out? And it's just tied on the side. What do you guys think? You could do this with any kind of theme, any colors, using those same measurements. All right, you guys, what do you think? Do you love this bundle as much as me? I love it. Love, love, love it. Here are the three things that we made. If you guys would like for me to send these uh, make and takes to you for free, just make sure you get your order in by Monday at midnight using that host code. Um, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you're going to get free stamping rewards and I will still send you the make and takes for free. All right. All right, you guys. Phew, we made it. I hope you find some time this weekend to stamp and I hope it helps give you some, um, you know, distraction, distraction from the craziness of what's going on right now. Um, you guys hang in there and I will see you probably, I might see you, I might do a live midweek once we have the, the retired list, which also comes out on Wednesday. So be watching for that. Okay. I will definitely post a link to that on Facebook so you guys can see what's retiring. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me today. You've been the highlight of my day for sure. I will see you um, next week. Bye, guys.